The Chinook is an extremely capable and highly versatile support helicopter that can be operated from land bases or ships into a diverse range of environments. It was designed to perform the Army heavy lift missions, which can range from moving cargo and equipment on the battlefield to transporting troops and delivering critical supplies on a humanitarian mission. Whether in remote locations, difficult terrain, high altitude, or hot conditions, day or night, the Chinook does things that no other aircraft does. The Chinook helicopter has accumulated over one and a half million hours of flight. The aircraft is designed to carry 44 passengers for a distance of 574 nautical miles. Today in this video, we're going to learn about the Chinook helicopter. We'll walk through the different features of the helicopter, the two engines on the top, the rotors, the cargo handling, the flight controls, and how they are used to maneuver the helicopter. This is the CH-47 Chinook military helicopter. It's one of the most iconic and heaviest lifting military helicopters ever built. The Chinook traces its origin all the way back to the Vietnam War when it was first introduced in 1961. Like many U.S. Army helicopters, the name Chinook comes from a Native American tribe that was located in Washington state. All over the world, 22 countries currently fly the CH-47 Chinook. The U.S. Air Force and U.K. Royal Forces are the most significant two operators. Each helicopter costs around $64 million. It is a tandem rotor helicopter that is equipped with two large rotors which can lift up to 10 tons of cargo or hold 33 to 50 fully equipped troops. Some of the major parts of the helicopter are the two main rotors on the top, the fuselage, which is the body of the helicopter, the cockpit in the front, the cabin right behind. The Chinook is 30 meters long, 3.7 meters wide, and about 5.6 meters high. An empty Chinook weighs 12 tons. First thing, let's dive deep into the fueling of the helicopter. Right here, there are two main fuel tanks and four auxiliary tanks. The right side fuel has a capacity of 2,318 liters, and 1,979 on the left side. The left main tank supplies fuel to the left engine and the right main tank to the right engine. The auxiliary tanks feed the main tanks only. The helicopter has a pair of Lycoming T-55 turboshaft engines. These are extremely powerful engines. They work by first pulling large amounts of air into the front of the engine. The atmospheric air is then compressed to a significantly smaller volume and higher pressure. This compressed air is mixed with fuel and then ignited. After ignition, the high energy gas is pushed through a turbine. which then turns the shaft down the middle. The engine output shaft is connected to the transmission. Then the power is connected to the combining transmission. By combining transmission, the power is directed to the synchronizing shaft. Then this power is transmitted to the aft transmission, which then turns the aft rotor. And also the combining transmission turns the forward transmission and rotor. These two rotors are linked by a transmission that ensures the rotors operate at the same rate. The rotor blades are spinning in opposite directions to each other. The front rotor spins in the clockwise direction and the rear rotor spins counterclockwise. This will effectively cancel the rotational torque of the rotor, 
This is the reason why Chinook does not have any tail fan. Each rotor mast is mounted with a slight angle to the other. Usually the front rotor is set at a 9 degree forward angle, and the rear rotor has a 4 degree forward angle. The rear rotor is placed 19 inches below, so they never collide with each other. The rotor has a spinning diameter of 60 feet. These blades spin at 225 RPM, or revolutions, per minute. The dual rotor system boasts a combined maximum of 10,138 horsepower, which can be capable of lifting up to 10 tons of cargo. The Chinook usually has a crew of four, pilot, a co-pilot, and two flight engineers. The flight controls of the Chinook are essentially different from normal helicopters. Let me show you the mechanism in the center here. It consists of a main swash plate, a rotor mast, and four pitch control rods, which are then connected to each of the three rotating blades. The swash plate can move up or down. This directly affects the pitch on each of the three blades. But the swash plate can also tilt from side to side. This means it will change the pitch more on some blades than on others. For sideway flight, the swash plate will go on the right side tilt. And if you watch it spinning around, each blade is always changing. When it's on the right side, it's relatively flat. But when it's on the left side, it's more angled. It's flat. Now it's angled. This means unequal lift on the different sides of the helicopter. This is used to maneuver the helicopter in different directions. The Chinook has three basic pilot flight controls. Collective, Cyclic, Pedals. To move the helicopter up or down, pull on the collective, and this will raise the swash plate to change the pitch of these blades. This affects the angle of attack. Increasing the angle of attack generates more lift. Do it on all six of the rotor blades and this will cause the helicopter to go up. Push down the collective, the swash plate goes down and the helicopter generates less lift to move the helicopter down. Center control is called cyclic. This is used to move the helicopter forward, backward, left, or right. For forward flight, the pilot moves the control stick forward. The thrust of the aft rotary wing is increased while the thrust of the forward rotary wing is decreased, causing the helicopter to move forward. For a sideway flight, he moves the control stick left or right. When he moves the control stick to the right, it causes the forward and aft rotor to tilt to the right side. It will move the helicopter to the right side. Conversely, a left cyclic input causes left side movement. Down here is the rotor pedal. This pedal is used to turn the helicopter to the left or to the right. This is also known as controlling yaw. When the pilot moves the right pedal forward, it causes the forward rotor to tilt to the right, whereas the rear rotor will tilt to the left. It will turn the helicopter to the right. Conversely, a left pedal input causes a counterclockwise directional moment, or left turn. This helicopter is incredibly capable as a cargo aircraft. 
It can take off with up to 10 tons. It has a triple cargo hook. Forward, middle, and aft. Each hook can be used to carry separate loads. The heaviest load should be connected to the center hook. The next heaviest connected to the forward hook, and lighter load to the aft hook. These guidelines keep the helicopter's center of balance within the allowable limit. Normally, the two hooks are used together to carry a dual point load. The forward and aft hook will increase load stability during the flight when moving large bulky cargo. To obtain maximum load, Chinook uses three cargo hooks together to carry a massive amount of load. The cabin provides 42 cubic meters of cargo space, which can accommodate two high-mobility, multi-purpose wheeled vehicles, and also 21 cubic meters of floor area, which can hold from 33 to 50 fully equipped troops, depending on the seat arrangement and equipment being carried. The primary part of this cargo system is the hydraulically operated winch which can be attached to the cargo tie-downs to reeve the cable over the floor at any desired lateral location. The aircraft may be armed and is fitted with a suite of self-defense equipment allowing it to operate across the battle space. Usually a Chinook is traveling under a war zone, escorted by an Apache helicopter. Several CH-47 helicopters have been modified to provide fire support capability. The mission role of the armed Chinook is to neutralize enemy ground fire in a landing assault area prior to the arrival of transport troop carriers. The armed versions of the CH-47 consist of a standard aircraft with a vital system, dualization, over a ton of installed armor, and an extensive array of weapons systems. Despite the added weight, Chinook remains the fastest rotorcraft in the Army fleet thanks to its tandem rotors capable of carrying up to 55 soldiers long distances at a speed approaching 200 miles per hour. With massive cargo space, impressive lifting capability, incredible speed, and plenty of room for weapon systems, it's no wonder the design of the CH-47 Chinook hasn't changed much since 1961. When you design something that big, that versatile, that powerful, and that fast, you've pretty much reached the apex of modern aeronautical design, at least for now. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I make a new video. For more updates and suggestions, follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned a lot, and I will see you next time.